All right, you guys, we're good for tonight or what? Now just calm down for a moment because this is the most important holiday of the year. And this is our day. I always knew that our day would come. Before I introduce the members of the group, I'd like to say that... Uh, I believe tonight is the mysterious night that two members of the Ramones are actually in the audience. I think tonight's the night. They were supposed to come and see at least one of our shows, but they're here right now. Hello to them. I'm so glad that they could stop by because they're the guests of our drummer. Meanwhile, I'd like to introduce to you Ray White on guitar and Cal Bell and Patrick O'Hearn on bass. Terry Ted Ozio on drums. Let's go to Eddie Johnson on keyboards, violin, and randomonium. And of course, in the red dress with the sequins and the things, the under the booty, the lovely Bianca on vocal and keyboards. For those of you who are unfamiliar to this particular presentation, my name is Frank. And this is a song about my feet. Stupid disease, chromatrosis, and well, we should. The less regular folks who might wear a tennis shoe or an occasional python. Know this exquisite little inconvenience by the name of stink fart. That's right. You know, my python boot was too tight. Couldn't get it off last night. We went by. I finally got it off and my girlfriend to cry and got steak for Steak for dollar. Your stinking foot puts the hurts. Oh my girl! Steak foot, steak foot. I ain't lying. Can you rinse it off to use up my whole spot? Here, Fido. Here, Fido. Bring this original puppy. Give me a slippery spider. Alright, where's the slippers? I said, where's the slippers? Look, where are the slippers? For those of you who don't understand 
dog talk. The dog is saying to me, and you won't believe this, this dog just said to me, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ! I was so stoned I couldn't keep him in my mouth. And so verily I said unto the dog, I said, Hey, Fido, hey. This is New York, you can be punished a lot. You should have brought the slippers while you had a chance because now I have to hurt you quite a bit. Where's that whip?
the poodle. There is a poodle candidate right there. The first mistake was the poodle. The reason the poodle was a mistake. Hey, how you doing, Bobby? Hi, Marcia. Everybody from New Jersey right there in their front, aren't they so cute? Right there, stand up. It's my brother Bob, a former Marine. Stand up, Bobby. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Zappa. Hey! Want to sit in? <laughs> All right. Now, the reason the poodle was a mistake was because he originally wanted it to be a schnauzer. Isn't that right, Bobby? You have an education, tell me. Is this true? Okay. But he fucked up, you know? Everybody makes mistakes. God made three of them. The first one was the poodle. I'm going to explain it to you very carefully now. Here we have Frenchie. This is Frenchie, the Exhibit A type poodle. Now, God made two other mistakes. Mistake number two was called Man, and mistake number three was called Woo Man. Now, the Woo Man looked at the poodle with lust in her heart. And then she looked at the man and she knew that the man was a sucker. He always was, he always will be. That's the way God made it. She looked at the man and she said, hey boy, why don't you uh, go get a job? You know, a job. And so he got a job. What did he know? He didn't know what a job was. It was in the old days. Jobs weren't so bad. He got a job. He even got paid. He got paid old time money for it. And he brought the old money back to the woo man and she took the money away from the man and she stomped out of the garden of Ethan and went to a hardware store. Once she got to the hardware store, she got herself a pair of clippers, some scissors, and a pair of zircon encrusted tweezers. I'm gonna say amen to it. That's right. Boy, if I was River and I had be in business right now. Look here, she went to work on the poodle. She cleaned this son of a bitch right up. Cleaned off his back so it wouldn't be too hot, you know. She figured that the schnauzer had all that, so she. Cleaned up his back, pruned his thorax, his medulla, his gula, even trimmed all this area right near Queens, right around here. All the way to the Bronx. And here, in this horribly filthy part that we know today is the East Village, you clean that up. That's right, all around St. Mark's Place. Really? This is the balloon farm right here, remember that? Here's the Garrick Theater, right there. Oh, look, look at this here, stuck next to his toenail. It's Bleaker Bob's old record store. Then she took the poodle, and she drooled a little bit while she was doing this because, you know, she had this lesson in her heart. She set the poodle up over on the side like this. And she went over and she sat on his face. how she was able to do it, but while she was sitting on the poodle's face, yes, this is true, she looked deep into his little dog-type eyes and said these words.
right, now we got a song. We depend on that point. Now we have a song that deals with the delicate subject of higher education. This song also happens to be cut one, side one of our new LP, which is entitled Sue Dolores. Yes, this is a commercial for the album. Because those son of a bitches of Warner Brothers won't do anything to sell it, so I'm gonna sell it myself. This album is now available. I want you to go out and buy it. Buy it, send a letter to Warner Brothers and tell them to go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Meanwhile, the name of this song is You're Gonna Wind Up Working in a Gas Station. <laughs>
is all green and buzzing. It is the beginning of the spring. Who are all these people? Are they crazy?
Your attention, please. Mars needs women.
you do? You know, I can't complain when the checks come through. Well, I want my Chrissy and I want my beer. And you just spit it back up. Listen, do you hear? Uh, do you hear? Just blow it out your ass, motorcycle man. I mean, I am the devil. Do you understand? Just what will you give me for your titties and beer? I suppose you notice this little contract here. You're goddamn right, you son of your code. Me that. That's about the only reason I learned right before. Give me that paper, bet your ass outside. Cause I need a beer in this titty squeezing time. Man, you can't do me. You ain't that bad. I mean, you should have seen some of the souls I've had. There were Newhouse Nixon and Agnew too. And both of those suckers were worse than you. Well, let's make a deal if you think that's true. I mean, you're the devil now. What you gonna do? You wanna make a deal with me? Sure, of course I wanna make a deal with you. Look, let me put it to you this way. You can have my soul. It's a mean little sucker about a thousand years old. And once you get it, you can't give it back. You wouldn't shit me You gotta keep it forever, and that's a natural fact. I gotta keep it. That's right, you have to keep it. You have to keep it all of your very own. You have to keep it right there on your dresser. You've gotta keep my soul forever. Hold on. I'm not gonna wash it or nothing. Oh man, you got all those. I don't use any deodorant on it. You have to keep my you have to keep my soul forever. Wait a minute. All those funny things in my hair. I want my beer. I want beer. I want more beer. I want beer. I want hot beer. Hold it, man. Don't forget the devil. 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 Don't forget the
Hey, how would you guys, how would you guys feel if I actually tuned up? I can't stand the sound of this thing. Like Thank you. 
stand up and just twist a little bit in there. Just right by their chair. You can sit back down really fast when you're done so that nobody knows that you actually stood up. And I won't even look. We're going to give you one more chance.